Hi, this is Fire from Scrappy Mania. And I'm almost to the end of this paper pad. Um, I only have a couple more pages left. Now, I took some days off and I did my own scrapping retreat. Um, what I did is I just, um, every day I've been creating a page or two. And that's my way of kind of relaxing. Every once in a while, I just take a couple days off from work and I just scrap. So instead of going to uh, a, a scrapbooking um, cruise or, or retreat or anything, I do my own retreat at home by just getting a paper pad and just scrap, scrapping that whole pad into an album. And also, um, it also will allow me later on when I do have the pictures, I'll just lay the pictures down and do some, some writing, some journaling, and I'm done. So here is all the pages and at the end I will have a video and review and I'm going to go through all these pages. So I'm creating a 20 page album with one paper pad. So I'm almost done. I got five more layouts. So two double spread and one single spread layout left in order to complete my album. So and at the end I'll show you I'll have one video in where I'm going to show you the whole all the layers all the layouts that I did and the album that I'm going to put it in. So I'm basically just using this one Everyday Brights and as you can see here there's not much left so there's a lot bunch of scraps this is left the you know I have I'm gonna have to add some of my neutral color cardstock in order to kinda finish off the five lay layouts that I that I need so I have a little bit left of the purple a lot of stripes Here's another one of those. So this one I think I'm going to cut apart. And let me show you that because I really don't have a lot of flowers left either. So this one I think I'm going to cut apart in, to create my flower clusters. So this is the blue, a little bit of purple. And then um, let me show you the next one that I'm left with, which is... Let me put this blue goes over here and then I have this orange so this is what's left of my orange not a lot so I went ahead and pulled two neutral colors of my cardstock so I'm going to use that as a base and then I'm going to use this to layer and then I found this little envelope so I'm going to use this little envelope for my journaling and that's going to go somewhere in the page like that with a little card for my journaling and then I'm going to use the technique um, I love the vellum with the glitter that um, Dear Lizzie has. So I'm going to reproduce the same thing but using my circle punch and then this is going to be my die. So I'm going to go use this, do some embossing powder and then I'm going to emboss on it and this is going to be part of my layers too. And I might create a big, I think I'm going to create a big page so of that one. So what I have is, let me pull that out. So I used this vellum sheet that I purchased some time ago from the, um, this is actually from the office supply store. And then I'm just going to go ahead and layer this and emboss my, um, my circles. So I'll show you how to do that. But basically this is what's left. My inspiration is going to be this. And it's not it's it's not a typical um, scrapbook layout. It's mainly a journal. So this is a journaling page. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I want to use some watercolors. I'm gonna use some watercolors. I got this. I acquired this new stamp. So I'm gonna use this stamp, as you can see there, for here somewhere in here and then I'm going to just do a lot of layers and I do have a lot of stamps so I might stamp a little um, um, month card or whatever so let's see what I come up with but this is the inspiration that I'm going to be using to create my layout so let me go ahead and get started I'm going to speed up the video and I hope you enjoy the process so here, the first thing you need to do is just to create your stencil with a circle punch and then use Versamark. And I like to use the direct pad to paper method 
um, against a stencil for um, for this technique. And then uh, you use your embossing powder. Now I like using my glitter gold, um, the one that De Lizzie has. It's actually just no glitter, but just gold embossing powder. But um, I like everything that glitters, so I decided to use my gold glitter. And to me, it gives a little more. It gives a little better sparkle. So here I just missed a spot, so I just went back with some more glitter, and there I have it. So here I'm, I'm going to do the watercolor technique using some of my watercolor. Um, and then those pods that you see on the right, those are actually Twinkling H2O, which I got at Hobby Lobby. And they're $25.99, and I used my 40% coupon to get it for $17.99. But here I'm doing the same. I'm doing like ombre effect. So going to some yellow and then orange and then red. Um, the Twinkling H2O has mica powder. So it gives it a little fine gl um, glimmer. But, um, but I mix it with my regular watercolors. So the next step I decided to, I needed something more. So I took some of my um, black watercolors and I took a paintbrush and I saturated it with water and then used it to create droplets. Um, here I'm showing you the final product and what I did is I dried it and then I used the ironing technique. I took an iron and flattened out the paper because with watercolor it always bubbles. And then I'm just showing you that I've created that ombre effect that you see there on that journaling. And then um, now I'm gonna start layering my papers. And as you can see, I'm just working with the different pieces that I have left over, trying to figure out a good way to layer all these papers. And at, you know, at the end, I don't use that doily or that green paper. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best placement of all this. And then just kind of, I, I do not refer, I kind of, when I have a sketch like that, um, that sketch that I showed you earlier or that picture that I showed you earlier, it's mainly a reference point. I don't really follow it exactly how it's there. It's just kind of, I get some ideas from it and then I just do my own interpretation of, of that sketch or that, um, that layout. So as you can see here, the other picture only had one, it had a one journaling block on that layout, the, the inspiration layout, but I decided to put two pic photo mats. And I also put a lot of paper layers. Um, and then I'm trying, I'm going to outline my photo mats because it needed something. It was just it was not standing out as much as I wanted, so I decided to just outline my papers. And I've noticed this is a nice technique. I learned this technique from a YouTuber, and uh, her name is Mercy Tiara. She does very wonderful layouts. I really love all the layouts that she creates. And um, she always outlines a lot of her papers, and it just looks nice, so I decided to do that same here. So now I'm putting that little chevron on my tag and then that geo, geo tag stamp, I created that with just a petal, um, a circle punch, and that created that geo tag that you see there, that little um, teardrop with a hole in the middle. So now I'm just kind of layering everything and just putting a little bit of adhesive and then I'm going to go back with my hot glue gun and putting everything down and then those two little pieces that you see there that date and also that journaling area is actually from an Allie Edwards stamp from Technique Tuesday I purchased a long time ago at Amazon and I'm gonna I put my arrow um, and just kind of finishing up the layers here. So I decided to kind of put a little 
green paper between the layers and I'm going to create that one into a banner. And then now I'm going to go to the second page. So for the second page I'm going to use most of that glitter paper that I created, that little circle paper. Um, and then I'm going to use that little envelope. I, I kind of spruced up the envelope with a little bit of watercolor. Um, so more of my embellishments to kind of give it some interest. And then the tag in there is another stamp that I purchased some time ago at Technique Tuesday. And that's where that it's going to be my journaling little tag. It's inside the envelope. So now I'm just finishing up putting more little embellishments. And then I decided that I'm ready to place everything down. And I'm outlining again my journaling tags. And then those tags were kind of too plain. So in a moment you'll see me that I went ahead and found some sayings. And I'm using those to put on, on my tag. And these sayings actually I purchased at HSN. They were um, Tor Tori Spellman's stamps. And, and they were actually on clearance for $10. It came with some envelopes some um, and some cards and also ink. So now I'm, I'm ready to kind of start embellishing the top right hand side, left right hand side. And this is another stamp that I just purchased that says a good day, it has some arrows. And then I'm using another arrow stamp that I just purchased. So now I'm reviewing my inspiration um, and how my interpretation came about. So there's that watercolor from the inspiration and that little area tag. It's right here. So there's my watercolor. There's the bottom piece, the arrow, which is the arrow that you see there. And then the the whole that whole area there is kind of my interpretation with doing the collage with the two photo mats um and then the next page so this the next page that's the my interpretation of that bottom piece of my inspiration piece right there of course you have one picture and then the top is actually from there in that my inspiration piece it had a, a little cluster on the top so then i decided it kind of needed some more stuff there it just kind of looked a little plain so i'm going to use this little tag that i created with my fisker tag punch and then i'm putting a flare button and that flare button is one of the ones that i created and i have a tutorial on how to create those flare bu buttons and just Click on the link if you like to visit that tutorial and I'll show you how to create this flare button. So there, I'm done. It just needed that, just that little piece there to just create that cluster. And I'm done with that page. So that's my second page. This is my first page. And I hope you enjoy my whole process and thank you for watching. Bye now.